Hey guys, we're back at it again, grilling with red. Today we're gonna to do some grilled jalapeno poppers. It's that time of year, college football's going on. This is a great tailgate item. Christmas parties coming up, whatever, carry these to it. You will be the star of the show, I guarantee you. These things are jam up. Hey, let's get into these ingredients. All right, y'all can see we got plenty of jalapeno peppers laid out here. Um, I'll show y'all in a minute how I prep the peppers. Um, I'm gonna brown up about uh, two or three tubes of this uh, chorizo. We're gonna put it in there, get it good and brown. Of course, we're gonna wrap them in bacon. Can't forget bacon, it makes everything better. Gonna do some uh, shredded cheddar jack cheese. I have got two different types of cream cheese that we're gonna use. I've got the chive and onion, fantastic. I've also got spicy jalapeno. Kick it back up a notch. We're gonna get all those seeds and uh, membrane out of the inside so it kind of takes away from the heat. This right here will spice it up. It's, it's really good. It's not real hot, but it gives it that kick. Gonna put a little uh, cumin in it. Little Worcestershire. Then we are going to sprinkle it with our favorite barbecue rub. Hey, the Killer Hogs. Check him out, Malcolm Reed. You can't go wrong with this stuff right here. We're gonna put a little bit of this in our, um, in our mixture that goes in the, in the pepper. Then we get them wrapped with bacon. We're, all, we're also gonna sprinkle a little bit of this uh, on, the, on the bacon wrapped jalapeno itself. So let's get everything prepped up. I'll show y'all uh, what, I, what I do with it in the bowl. I'll show y'all how I prep the peppers and then uh, we'll go from there. All right. You can, uh, you can use half and half. You can take half of one, half of the other, and put in your bowl. Uh, this really goes a long way, but um, we may have some left over, and if that's the case, I'll make some more peppers tomorrow. I'm gonna use the whole container of both of my cream cheeses. Scoop that out in your bowl. This has been setting out for a few minutes, so it's kinda, it's kinda softened up a little bit. I will put some um, ingredients down in the description. I don't really measure this. I will later on just kind of give you all an idea. Just kind of adjust it to your taste. Just put you a little Worcestershire sauce in there. That looks good. And what I do, give a little sprinkle with the cumin. That's probably a, a half a tablespoon maybe teaspoon and a half cumin. Then we're gonna give it a, a good generous sprinkle of our barbecue rub. That's probably about the same amount as the cumin. Then your cheese, you can kind of adjust it as you go. If you like a good cheesy jalapeno popper. This is a, this is an eight ounce bag. I'm probably using roughly, probably not quite half, maybe right at half. Um, I ended up doing three tubes of the chorizo. I've got it just kind of getting some of that paper towel, getting some of the grease out of the trees. As y'all can see, I just got it browned up. So uh, we just dump it in. And just take your spatula. Just give that a good mix. Let's add a little bit more cheese. Just get it good and mixed up. Make sure your cream cheese is mixed in well. Chorizo, make sure it's just all blended together and combined. And, uh, that's what it's gonna look like. A little sample. Oh yeah, that's the mixture we're looking for right there. Beautiful. All right, so this is, this is very basic. I've got some of the peppers laid out here. I'll just show y'all a couple of them, then I'll get the rest of them prepped up. You can cut the stem off, you can leave it on. Just take your pepper, try to cut it down the middle. You're gonna expose your seeds, expose your membrane. Then you, you can take your, your fingers, hands, whatever, thumb, put in there and get that out. I usually take a spoon. And what I'll do then, is I just take and scrape that membrane and the seeds out. They usually come out pretty easy. Get that little bit right there. 
and that's that's really all I do to it. Just make a make a little boat like that, and uh, just make sure, like I said, if you don't want them hot, make sure you get all the seeds out of there. But uh, it it'll also you can you can take your knife, you can uh, you can run down that membrane on both sides. Sometimes that helps right there, and then you can take and just uh, peel it out of there. Just don't rub your eyes after you make these. So that would be a that'd be a bad afternoon. You can take your thumb, like I said, and it'll, it just scrapes right out of there. Got a couple little seeds hanging out. But uh, y'all get the y'all get the point of you know how I'm doing it, what I do. Like I said, you can uh, you don't have to cut the stem off. You can leave them on. Gives you kind of a little little handle to hold on to them while you're eating on them. Either way, I'm gonna get the rest of these peppers prepped up, and then uh, I'll show y'all the putting the filling in them. Be right back with you. All right, so we've got everything somewhat prepped up. I'm gonna show y'all how I prepare the pepper. And I've got these little racks that I put them on. I use these these like cookie cooling racks. You can buy them cheap at big box stores. They're everywhere. They're a lot easier to get bulk peppers on and off the grill. So um, what I do, turn that right there. I just get me a little spoon. You don't wanna overfill it because this cheese this cheese does uh, kind of want to come out of there when it gets a little bit runny as the grill gets them heated up. But uh, just pack your pepper good and fill it up just like a little boat like that. And then uh, I take and slice my bacon. I, I slice it in half. So it, it kind of goes a little further. If not, it takes 10 pounds of bacon or better to do to do a batch of, of jalapenos. But then you just take a, take a strip of bacon Wrap it around it. Then uh, we'll get them all on our rack and then I'll give them a good uh, dusting of uh, barbecue seasoning and uh, we'll put them on the grill. All right, so we've got the peppers all prepped up here and got them on the rack ready to put on the grill. We've got it, it's up to temp, it's at 275. We're gonna let these run for probably an uh, hour to an hour and a half. We'll check on them at an hour and see what they look like and uh, we'll let y'all know then. We may check on them about 30 minutes and see what they look like and let y'all get a glimpse of them. But y'all can see right there, I got them wrapped with bacon. Give them another little sprinkle of the barbecue season at the end and these are ready to go on the grill. All right, so we've got them off the grill now and brought them back in. Uh, they went for about an hour, hour and 10 minutes, 275. Want that bacon to get good and done. Man, these things look fantastic. Y'all take a look at that. They have turned out great. Hey, let's try one. Oh yeah. That is excellent. It's got that good bite of barbecue, that jalapeno cream cheese in there. That is some count right there now. Hey, if y'all like these videos, y'all be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notifications bell while you're at it. Give this recipe a try and let me know what you think about it. See y'all in the next one.